Hello again and welcome once again to my tutorial. I am Choma Wosu. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this very beautiful um, wrap pants. This pants only takes a few minutes, you know, to make and it's very beautiful. It's trendy. I actually love the outcome. Um, it's easy to wear also before i go into this if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button also make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah if you're ready let's go right into this tutorial what you need is actually the full length of your pants so whatever the full length is you just add about three inches um to it so that's going to give you the measurement that you actually need for this particular tutorial so the next measurement you need is your hip measurement um, for this I'm going to be using the hip measurement of 42 inches now you're going to add 4 inches of seam allowance to that 42 inches so I'm going to have a total of 46 inches now I'm going to divide that 46 inches by 2 and this is because it's on a fold okay so I'm working on a fold so I'm going to divide it by 2 so I have about 23 inches and that is what I have actually folded so you have to fold whatever yours is okay so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to actually divide the full length of my pants by two so I'm going to divide it by two and this is because I want to actually establish where the midpoint is and uh, I am doing this because of the design I have um, from the midpoint we're going to be attaching the other side that has the pleats to it okay so if you don't want this particular design then it's fine um, all you need to do is to leave yours like that and just cut it um, straight um, but for me I want mine to have pleats by the knee area so I'm just marked the midpoint there and I'm just going to you know go ahead and mark it properly Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to cut out the upper part, you know, so the upper part is what I'm going to cut out now. Now the bottom part I'm going to actually use that as, you know, the place that has the pleats or you can even use guidance for yours if you want to. So I'm just going to go right ahead to cut that out. Okay, so after cutting this out, I'm actually going to need two of this and I'm also going to need two of the um, lower part. But before cutting out the second, you know, one, I have to um, actually cut out the lower part. So the lower part, I'm just going to increase it, you know, because this is a part that has a pleat. So I'm going to increase it by 12 inches. Um, you can actually, you know, add more to yours or even less, depending on how full you want the bottom part of your um, pants to be so I'm using 12 inches for mine and it came out really nice so and the lower part is going to fit into the upper part like this with pleats okay so I'm going to go ahead as well to cut out another one of the lower part and another one of the upper part so I have to have two of this piece so now I have the upper part I've cut out you know and this is the two that I cut out okay so one is going to be for the front and the other one is going to be for the back so you just place them on each other like so you can pin them down at this point in time if it's difficult for you to handle depending on the kind of fabric you have now i'm going to measure downwards 11 inches now i'm using 11 inches um basically because i have one inch um that i'm going to take now from the top um you can see the selvage already of the fabric um and the crotch is supposed to be 10 inches okay so plus that one inch that is what is making it 11 inch then i'm going to go in by five inches so you just go in by five inches Now from there, I'm just going to go ahead to um, connect that part to where I have the um, 11 inches, which is my crotch, okay? So I'm just going to connect it like that with the curve. Now 
Now I'm going to cut this out. Remember that this part is actually on the side that has the fold. So we're not working on the side that is open. We're working on the side with a fold. Okay, so now we're going to open it up and you're going to see we have something that looks like a U in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to go to my sewing machine and close up um, this part, you know, so I'm also going to attach the lower part to this particular side, you know, I'm going to attach the lower part to the upper part of my pants, you know, so I'm just going to make sure that I pleat it. Now to get your pleat done, I would advise that you notch the middle of the lower part and then you notch the middle of the upper part and then you connect it, you can pin them down so that you don't end up having one side fuller and one side, you know, not as full. So if you want to have your pleat even, you have to connect the middle like the center together and then you gradually pull it so right now i'll take this to the sewing machine and then um, i'm going to show you guys what it looks like okay so right now you see we've joined uh, the upper part and the lower part and this is what it's looking like so we've actually done the pleats so this is the outcome So I'm going to go ahead to cut out two small strips and then one very long strip, okay? So I'm going to cut out the two small strips and it's going to be by 20 inches in length and it's going to be about um, 3 inches in width and I'm going to cut out all of that. Then the next is a long one. I might need a length that is really long, so about 90 inches, but because my fabric is not as long as that, I'm going to cut out two strips. And this strips is actually very long, about 90 inches, and it's just about 5 inches wide. So it's about 5 inches wide because I want 2 inches on each side. So I'm going to attach, join the middle first of all to give us the long strip that we want. And then when I join the middle, I'm just going to fold it, you know, attach it like I'm attaching a band, you know. And I think I've actually attached a band on this channel before so if you don't know how to attach a band um i think the, i'm going to put the link of one of my videos so that you can um go check it out um, okay so this is the other side so the other side i'm going to attach in the smaller strip one on each side like so i'm going to hem the top before attaching the strips okay so i'm going to hem the sides by you know folding just a little fold a small fold and I'm going to fold it again so that's how I'm going to you know get that done and then by the bottom so I'm also going to give just a little fold and I'm going to stitch that up okay so right now I've gone to my sewing machine and I've hemmed the top part so I, I just folded a little fold sorry and then I attached the strip that I've actually folded as well to it so this is how it's looking so attach one to the left and one to the right and then on the other side I've actually gone ahead to attach the very long one like I said before I attached it like I'm you know doing like a band you know for a skirt or whatever just leaving the sides to hang loose so we're going to tie that you know around the waist okay so i actually use interfacing for mine which is a lightweight interfacing something they call the gum stay here okay so you can actually use interfacing for yours if you want to okay so you can see this is what the side is looking like i've hemmed the side and i've actually also hemmed the bottom of my pants so right now the next thing i'm going to do is to show you guys how i put this on so this is how it's looking it's very very easy to make very very comfortable and um, very beautiful and trendy I actually loved the outcome you know came out looking really nice so yeah I want you to try this out um, you because I know you're going to love it so I want you to try this out and if you actually loved this video go ahead to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you found this interesting 
turn on the notification bell as well so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, you can also follow me on all my social media. Uh, I'm going to leave the link at the description box below. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.